Well, we go now to Flower Bluff, where we are learning more about a proposal by the city of Corpus Christi to absorb the resources of Noises County Emergency Services District Number 2 into the city's fire department. Now tonight, CCFD Chief Robert Rocha stating his case to the ESD's Board of Commissioners. Our Bill Churchwell was there, and Bill, you said this is something that uh, got pretty heated at times, huh? Yeah, you know, this has been something that has been a pull and tug discussion for years. The city says it's about reducing taxes for residents on the island and over in Flower Bluff, the area that is serviced by the ESD. On the flip side, folks who support keeping ESD2 say it's about quicker response time and jobs. Area firefighters watched from doorways and even through this kitchen service window as Corpus Christi Fire Chief Robert Rocha outlined the city's stance to this packed room, all on their proposal to absorb the fire district. It's not like we're coming in and throwing people out in the street. We are making a good faith effort to work with the ESD board in order to eliminate the redundancy and the taxation. ESD2 is located on Yorktown in Flower Bluff near Laguna Shores. Chief Rocha says right now, residents who live within the station's coverage area are paying an extra three cents per $100 valuation in taxes. There is a strong desire from other residents other than just in Flower Bluff who want to see the elimination of the redundancy in services and the redundancy in taxation. The plan removes ESD number two's territory and other nearby C CFD stations shown in this map would take on their calls. We would look to hire those uh, individuals that are eligible to be hired uh, by the city to work as firefighters. As we sit right now in this very room, which medical ambulance is covering Flower Bluff? Station 13. The idea challenged by those in the audience. What, well, I, don't, I don't know what your point is. My, my point is, my concern is, as a person that suffered from a heart attack seven years ago, yes, sir. minutes matter. Seconds matter. I don't care what the cost is. This is not, this group does not provide a redundant service. It fills gaps that are left on a daily basis by Corpus Christi FD. Chief Rocha also addressed how it would affect current firefighters at ESD number two. Eligible firefighters would be placed at other stations. But those firefighters would have to also meet the age requirement of 19 to 35. 40% of the staff at ESD number two would not qualify. So you're just expected to dig ditches? Public works, uh, there's other positions that but, we would But that's what, that's what we're saying, is that you're not getting your fire job, that you just spent half your life yeah. doing. The city's plan would also hire on the current ESD number two fire chief and deputy chief as civilian employees. Obviously my agency doesn't support any kind of consolidation because at the end of the day it is going to cost firefighter jobs. Weston Bassetta is the fire chief of ESD number two. Nobody wants to go work for the water department. They are firemen. They've gone to school. They, this is their trade. They have no interest in becoming something different. As the back and forth continues, at the end of the day, this is a conversation that could ultimately end up in the hands of voters. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. All right, Bill, thank you.